What is up, beautiful people? Welcome back to New Rock TV. And today, work sucked. It was a tough day. But now I'm home. Got home, got one of my favorite shirts. Thanks to my homeboy, Rick Vintage Oddball Cards. Thank you, homie. But I got home, and finally, this has come back home to Tampa, Florida. Can you smell la, 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 what the rock is cooking? That just threw me back to high school. Anyways, <laughs> back to the package. So it's very frustrating to have a slab card go across country and come back. Um, I get the whole authentication process. I get that's their thing. But God, the seller was from Miami. It's a three and a half hour drive from Tampa. Well, I have three kids, so it's more like a five hour drive. Daddy, I'm hungry. Daddy, I gotta use the bathroom. Daddy, da 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 da. But I digress. <laughs> <laughs> but the seller was from Miami. He had to ship this all the way to Cali. And then Cali all the way back to Tampa. It took almost two weeks. But it's here, I'm happy. Um, that's one of the main reasons why, I mean, I like ungraded cards, not raw, ungraded cards. I have nothing against graded cards. I actually enjoy them, don't mind buying them. But one of the biggest things I'm afraid of is sending cards in the mail. It's like unnecessary risk. <laughs> that's why I haven't done, I mean, George has me on the ledge, uh, Rudog. Um, P Daz is starting to do submissions for his homies, so it's got me thinking maybe, but I'm just afraid to send my cards in the mail. It's like, uh, you know, the flippers probably are okay because it's insured. I know they're insured. If they get lost, they'll get their money recouped, but I'm not going to have my baseball cards back. <laughs> if I'm sending it to be uh, graded, it's because they're nice. They look good. And, uh, as the great philosopher Papino Man and my homeboy John Mangini likes to beat on that drum saying no two vintage cards are the same they are right so yeah I might get my cards insured and I might get paid back if they do get lost I'm never gonna have those cards again I don't want to take that risk <laughs> anyways what am I what am I talking about I got this beautiful beautiful Father's Day gift I took advantage of the situation because I spent a lot of money the week before with my homeboys, um, John and Orlando. I, I bought a Yaz rookie, about 57 Bunning at the card show. And I told my wife I wasn't going to get anything for Father's Day, but Father's Day came around. She's like, do you, boo. And um, I found this card and it was on auction and it was low, low, low. Of course, as soon as the sniping began it started creeping up but i still got this for a real good deal i'm gonna turn the camera around for those who've never gotten an ebay authentication um box i'm gonna give you a first person view let's do this all right beautiful people here is the package there is my address casa de Lurac. <laughs> you don't get the address if you're in the circle of trust <laughs> anyways are we strong, homie? Let's go. Let's be super careful. within a case so I'm super excited to reveal 
Man, all this packaging, and for what? All right, so, from a legendary set of a legendary player. A little foreshadowing, but um, bum 1952 Tops, Orestes Mini Minoso, the Cuban Comet, Mr. White Sock, the first Afro Latino in the major leagues and the first black player in White Sox history. Let's go. Love this card. Look how beautiful this card is. Fell in love with it. I took my time. I was kind of kicking myself because I've, I've been wanting this card for about three years. Um, and I've been chasing it. And patience is key. However, with certain cards, sometimes when you're patient, they get more expensive. <laughs> That's what I was doing. Man, they improved their sleeves because this is a lot better. This is almost, it's not a perfect fit sleeve or superior fit sleeve, but this is a lot better than the one I have on my Campy. I'm still gonna get a superior fit sleeve and take it out because the superior fit sleeves are much crystal clear. And I don't care about that. But oh, man, this does have a little bit of a diamond cut. You can see the image is a little bit twisty, but man, look at the borders. A lot of borders on it. Corners are beautiful for a 52. Look at all this distraction. I want this. I like seeing the back of my baseball cards, yo. But um, yeah. Look at that. It's so pretty. Man, that's legendary player. Super happy to have it. I don't know what else to say. But um, let me turn this camera around. I can't tell you how happy I am to finally have this card. It's a beautiful card. Legendary set, legendary player. Beautiful grade, beautiful card, beautiful everything. So I'm just gonna enjoy it, chill in the man cave, watch a little baseball, and chillax because I am off tomorrow. And um, I don't know, make a, a fort or a castle out of these boxes, man. Bob loves them. So I think she likes to put her Pokemon cards in it. <laughs> she does, she's creative. But with that, hope you enjoyed it, because I certainly did. And uh, that's it. Peace out. Go Yankees.